All right. Good. Good morning. Uh, oh, actually, afternoon. Just, just uh, missed that. But okay. good, good afternoon and welcome. I am uh, Councilmember Costa Constantinidis, Chair of the Environmental Protection Committee. Joined today by Donovan, our Councilmember Donovan Richards, Councilmember Carlos Manchaca, and Councilmember Kalman Yeager. Thank you all for being here. Today we'll vote on legislation that will advance wind energy technology applications and legislation to enhance greater use of renewable wind energy, particularly in urban areas. You'll we'll also hear legislation that requires implementation of energy efficiency measures. In 2014, we enacted Local Law 66 of 2014, which calls for an 80% reduction in CMI emissions by 2050, 80 by 50, relative to such emissions for the base year of 2005 for citywide emissions. To reduce our citywide emissions that dramatically, we will have to use all possible renewable energy technologies. Wind energy projects are currently the nascent stage of development in New York City, but that does not mean that these projects are not a worthwhile venture for the city. Several wind projects have already started here with enthusiasm for more. New small turbine technologies are emerging that can make residential wind power more feasible. Streamlining city regulations would make wind power more accessible and less arduous option <coughs> for city residents and businesses. Further, the city could enact and implement a strategy to assess its capacity for onshore wind energy along our city waterfronts in order to create more informed decision makings on wind energy potential in the city's plan for renewable energy expansion. The future of energy use in America is renewable energy, including wind power, and there's no way to achieve our aims of good environmental quality and abundant energy for our lifestyles with continued fossil fuel use. The legislation we are voting on today will help the city progress towards a cleaner energy future. Proposed intro 48A and proposed intro 50A promote onshore wind energy. Proposed intro 48A requires each long-term sustainability plan required by the charter to contain a wind resource assessment that would identify and map the areas of the city where wind resources are available for effective utilization of a wind turbine. Proposed intro 50A would authorize the installation of wind turbines designed to generate no more than 100 kilowatts of electricity along with supporting structures. Proposed intro 96A would allow residential cooperatives to file a single consolidated energy efficiency report where the cooperative covers multiple buildings on different tax lot numbers. Proposed intro 598A requires all city-owned buildings to completely be completely powered by green energy sources by 2050. And finally, proposed resolution 176 gives support to the New York State Governor's commitment to and facilitation of large-scale offshore wind projects. I recommend a yes vote on intro 48A, 50A, 96A, 598A, and proposed resolution 176. We are also joined by Councilmember Rafael Espinal from Brooklyn, if the clerk could call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on, on environmental protection. All items are coupled. Chair Constantinides. Aye. Espinal. I proudly vote aye. With many congratulations to the bill sponsor. Menchaca. I vote aye. I want to be added to the bills as they move out of committee. Thank you so much to our chair who keeps us focused motivated um, and accountable. Richards. Am I supposed to speak on my resolution? <laughs> I am so sorry. No, 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 no. I, I, you know what, Jordan wrote this, so sometimes I feel bad when he writes all of this stuff and then I'm like, don't read it. So I guess I will read it because he did work on Ab absolutely. it. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Um, yeah. <laughs> As they say, thank you, first of all, congratulations, Mr. Chair, on this groundbreaking uh, legislation. Um, and I'm happy to just be a part of it with the resolution. As a city, state, and nation, we must get serious in our efforts to combat climate change immediately. Tomorrow is too late. Resolution 176 calls on Governor Cuomo to continue to be a leader in the fight to save our future. He came through on the fight to keep fracking out of New York in 2014 and in 2018. Uh, the city council is calling on him again to commit to and facilitate the development of large-scale 
offshore, offshore wind projects by 2030. And let me just add that the advocates uh, really played a key role in that. This would align with his own new clean energy standard, which required that 50% of New York's electricity come from renewable energy sources like wind and solar by 2030. Not only will these projects provide us with clean energy, but they will also generate economic activity and create quality jobs for local communities. It's clear that the federal government won't be answering this call anytime soon, so it's imperative that we make bold decisions now to tap into mass amounts of renewable energy. I'd like to ask my colleagues this to support this resolution, and I thank Chair uh, Constantinidis for his leadership in fighting against climate change. Thank you, and uh, Samara, congratulations as well. I vote I own everything. Jaeger. Excuse briefly to explain my vote, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Uh, I, I'd like to com commend uh, the Chair and this committee and the Council for these incredibly wise bills that are designed to make it easier to breathe in our communities, make it easier to raise our children and look forward to the future. Um, these bills not only uh, impose no fiscal impact on the city, which is very important to me as I look to the things that we can do to make our city cleaner and greener, um, but it also makes it easier for the private sector to comply with the laws that we've set forth, uh, which are designed to make our city cleaner. So I proudly vote aye on all. Uh, I congratulate the chair. I congratulate uh, Council Member Ku, who uh, proposed intro 96A, uh, which I have co-sponsored with him, and I congratulate um, uh, Council Member Donovan Richards for uh, his very wise resolution. Thank you. I vote aye on all. We have a vote of five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. I'd like to leave the roll open for about 15 minutes, and with that, I'll gavel this committee hearing closed. Oh, don't? No. Oh, leave it open? All right. All right.